How's it going? I'm MOS and today I'll be showing you how to set up voice mod with the Beacon Suite. Um, I'm not sure if there's any clear tutorials that show you exactly how to do this. I'll show you what I have set up and how I'm using it. And then um, towards the tail end, I'll show you some troubleshooting steps in case you're having issues with it. Uh, so right up front, I'll show you in the Beacon Mix software suite. I have voice mod set up under auxiliary uh, two, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like uh, in voice mod. In voice mod, you only need to have a few things selected and I'll show you exactly what those things are and then kind of zoom in on it so you can see it. Uh, so you actually need to have beacon microphone selected uh, and then in your output, you need to have auxiliary two selected as well. You also need to have hear myself check mark and voice changer. And I'll go ahead and zoom in on those things so that you can get a better look. Then we'll head back out to the beacon software suite so that you can see exactly what that looks like and what you need to get set up from there. So over here in the beacon suite, I'll do my best to explain to you how I have it set up. I use a couple of different buttons to uh, quickly mute and unmute things. So right here in auxiliary in the auxiliary slot, voice mod is always muted, but it's actually always on. As you can see, whenever I talk, it's being picked up, but you can't hear it come through. So what I do is I mute my mic, but I only mute my mic to the audience, but the mic is still active. And that's why I have the beacon mic selected in the voice mod uh, input. So when I mute my mic, and then I unmute voice mod, it comes through. So again, uh, how I have it set up is I want to mute to the audience. And then after that, I wanna unmute voice mod so that it can come through. So if someone redeems it, I'll go ahead and just hit those two buttons and I'll mute my mic to the audience and I'll unmute all so that voice mod can come through and I can hear it a little bit. And as you can see here, I have it uh, with a slightly different volume. So what the audience is hearing is a little bit louder and what I'm hearing is a little softer. I need that in order to kind of act into it. I have to hear a little bit of the voice coming back to myself so that I can kind of ham it up a little bit. So that's kind of how, how I have it set up. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in OBS to do some testing for yourself, some troubleshooting. All right, before we head over into OBS for some troubleshooting tips, I just want to make sure that you guys clearly understand that you have to make sure on your routing table under aux slash hardware, you want to make sure that VOD track is selected or else it won't go out to your VOD track. It won't show up uh, during stream. You'll be able to hear it. But when you go back out and maybe try to clip a funny moment, you won't be able to hear it. So make sure that that's check marked. And then once you go out over into OBS, which I'll share right now, um, you want to make sure in your stream settings under the VOD track, you can have two, three, four, five or six selected. Make sure one of those is selected. And then in your recording settings for your audio track, you want to make sure the same one is selected. Mine's is six on both. So both of those things are selected. And if they're selected, you can go ahead and make some test recordings to see how it sounds uh, with voice mod to see if your voice is actually coming through. Uh, those are all the tips I have for you. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, you can check me out on uh, www.twitch.tv backslash mwest, M-W-E-S-T. If you guys have any questions, hopefully this helps some folks. I know there's no straightforward uh, tutorials out there, but this is how I utilize mine. I toggle it on and off really quickly, and it's been working very well for me. Peace.